Hi everyone. Well, <laughs> okay. So, hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video of C++ for beginners. In this video I want to show you how you can draw shapes using C++. So before we start make sure to subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell icon as well so that you are notified when I publish my next video. And let me show you now what we are going to do in this video. So here, where is it? Here I have image of the task that we are going to do today and that is going to be really to draw this rectangle shape with the desired height and width and the symbol that our user enters. Okay, so that is the task that we are going to do in this video. And let's very quickly analyze this problem and see how we are going to solve it. So the first thing that we need is for our user to enter height, width and then symbol and after that, we will really need to figure out a way, so figure out the algorithm on how we are going to draw this rectangle shape here. So if you look at this rectangle shape, you can really notice that it has the height that is going to be three of these symbols that our user has entered. And then it has the width that is going to take four of these symbols that our user has entered for width. Okay, so we are going to use nested for loop in order to solve this problem here. And if you're not familiar with nested for loop, I am going to link that video here because I have already made one video with nested for loops. So make sure to watch that video. And in this video, I am going to really use that nested for loop in order to control height and width of our rectangle shape. So we are going to have outer for loop, which is going to really control this height. And then for each iteration of our outer for loop, we are really going to control this width with another loop. And we are going to count from one up to four, because four is the width that our user has entered, and draw that shape in each iteration of our inner for loop. Okay, so that is what we are going to do. So let's now translate that into code. I'm going to say here, first thing that we need is going to be from our user to enter width and height. So I'm going to declare two variables. The first one is going to be height like this and then width. Okay, so let's write out a message to our user so that he knows that he should enter height Okay, now let's accept that height value in our height variable. And after that, let's really copy this and do the same thing for our width, like this, and accept that value in our width variable. So that is the first step. The second step is going to be to declare another variable, which is going to hold the symbol that our user wants to use for drawing that shape. So I'm going to declare a variable of type char and I'm going to call it symbol like this and let's write out a message to the user so that he knows that he should enter that symbol like this and let's say C in symbol. So after we have acquired all the necessary inputs from our user which are height, width and symbol that we are going to use to draw our shape. Now we are left to write the algorithm that is going to draw that rectangle shape. So as I already said, for that we are going to use nested for loop. So I am going to set up my outer loop, the first loop, and I'm going to say four. And then I'm going to declare the counter, which is going to count the iterations of my outer loop. Since that outer loop is going to control the height of our rectangle. I'm going to say int h, so I'm going to give the h name to our outer counter, and I'm going to set its initial value to zero, 
like this. And then we are going to put the condition how long our outer loop is going to run. So while our age is less than height that our user has entered, like this, and then after each iteration of my outer loop, we have to increment the value of our age counter. So that would be the setup of our outer loop. And let's now set up our inner loop. So I'm going to write four. And for this inner loop, I'm going to declare another counter, which I'm going to call W like this, because this inner loop is going to control the width of rectangle shape. So I'm going to set its initial value to zero as well. And then I'm going to say that it is going to run while this W is less than width that our user has entered like this. And also after each iteration, we really need to increment the value of this W. Okay, so what we are going to do in this loop, so in this inner loop, if you look at this image here, where is it? Okay, here, you can really notice that in each iteration of our inner loop, it just draws this symbol that our user has entered. So I am going to very quickly just see out. So write that symbol out. I'm going to say see out and then write out that symbol like this. And there is really one more thing that we need to put. And that is going to be after this for loop. So this outer for loop finishes single iteration. We really need to put something else at the end. So here at the end of our outer for loop. And let's look at our image. So as you can see here, after each iteration of our outer for loop, because it is controlling height and it is really iterating through this inner for loop in each iteration of our outer for loop. At the end of that iteration of outer for loop, we really need to put empty space. So here I need to put empty space and that corresponds to this line here. So here I'm going to write out C out end line like this. And now if I run my program, we should really expect to see the shape that rectangle shape of dimensions that our user defines. So let's say for height four and then for width, let's say for example, six and the symbol that we want to use to draw that shape, let's say that that is going to be this plus symbol. Okay, so as you can see, our rectangle has the height of four and then it has the width of two, four, six. So it has the width of six of these symbols that our user has entered. Okay, so there is one more thing that I notice here and that is going to be really to format this shape uh, to be a bit more pretty. So for that we are going to use the library which is called IOMANAP. So I am going to include that library here. I have to say include IOMANAP like this. And this library here really contains a function that is that is called set w, which means set width, which is really going to set the width of the field that comes after it. So I'm going to put here that function. I'm going to say, I'm going to put these redirection signs here. And then in this space here, I'm going to write out set v. So set w actually, and then here I want to put what is the width of the field that comes after this function. So what is going to be the width of our symbol field? And let's use three for that, for example. So if I run my program again, but let me stop it first. And if I run it again, oh no, I haven't stopped my program, so I'm going to close it. Okay, and now if I run my program, you can see that it asks height and width again. So previously we have entered four and six. And then for the symbol, let's enter plus again. And now as you can see, our shape looks much nicer because of this set width function, because it has really assigned to each symbol, to each character that our user has entered, the width of three fields. Okay, so let's run our program one more time. 
and let's say that that height is going to be five and width is going to be seven and let's enter another shape so let's say for example minus and as you can see it has written out the shape so the rectangle shape of these dimensions that our user has entered and it has used this symbol that our user also has entered so i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon as well also if you want me to make more videos like this, so if you want me to use programming to draw more shapes, make sure to write that in the comments down below so that I can know that you really enjoyed this video and like it as well. And the code from this video I am going to put in the description so that you can find it there and use it if you need it. And thanks for watching. I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.